Roland, on the issue of the Buhaha in Ghana's parliament, it all boils down to invasion of the territories of Adets. And in as much as we have the constitutional democracy, <clears throat> Article 1 2 of the Constitution prescribes that the Constitution of Ghana is the supreme law of the land. So in Ghana, we don't practice the Westminster system whereby they have parliamentary supremacy. But in Ghana, we have constitutional supremacy. And if you listen to the commentaries from Parliament, it comes to suggest that there is an attack on the supremacy of Parliament. And that has brought us where we are today. When you look at Article 132, of the constitution it clearly states that when a question of constitutional interpretation arises in any matter other than uh, uh, in any court other than the supreme court the lower court must stay proceedings and refer the question of constitutional interpretation to the supreme court <coughs> because that is the exclusive original jurisdiction of the supreme court under article 131 parliament has its own mandate and as far as um, the supremacy of the constitution is concerned, even in the recent case of Justice Abulai versus Attorney General, the Supreme Court per uh, Kulindi JSC clearly stated and uh, clearly reaffirmed in that uh, matter the supremacy of the constitution and not parliament. So, when this matter was brought, when the, whether it was a motion or whatsoever, was filed on the floor of parliament for the determination by the speaker whether to declare some seat vacant or not some rival interpretations were ascribed to article 97 1 g and h and the current position of the law in expertise and netto is that once per justice atuguba jsc as he then was that once rival meanings are ascribed to a provision of the constitution you must stay and refer the question of constitutional interpretation to the Supreme Court. So invariably, we were expecting that insofar as the minority caucus in Parliament ascribed a particular interpretation to uh, a provision under Article 97 G and H to mean that insofar as the four members of Parliament, they are four, i.e. Mr. Uh, Honorable Kwatiaka of Amenfi Central, on the ticket of the end is now filing to contest the 2024 elections intending to remain in, in the in future parliament as a nice parliament as an independent member of parliament for Memphis central honorable esiama independent member for formina intending to remain in parliament on the ticket of the new patriotic party for the ninth parliament and not for the eighth parliament uh, Honorable Cynthia Mamele Morrison of Aguna West, intending to remain in the ninth parliament as an independent member, but not on the ticket of the New Patriotic Party, and have not said notice that they have divorced their relationship with the caucus in which they belong to, clearly amounted to um, constitutional interpretation, where light the forum should have been the Supreme Court. But Speaker Baben went ahead arrogated to himself the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court and Article 131 to interpret that to mean that as far as they have declared their intention and notice of uh, polls have been published, it clearly amounts to a uh, cross carpeting of which they, are, they, they, they can no longer remain in Parliament as members of the H Parliament. Again, Speaker Babin arrogated to himself the jurisdiction of the High Court and Article 91A to declare those seats vacant and now came to his armchair as Speaker of Parliament under Order 18 of the Standing Orders of Parliament 2023 to inform Parliament or to notify Parliament as to the vacancy of the four seats in Parliament. Clearly, he usurped the powers of some bodies, some constitutional bodies, of which the Constitution of the Republic has granted them those powers to, uh, uh, to perform those, those various tasks. Roland, anyone that says that the right honorable Aaron Michael Quay's ruling 
is clearly similar to what is happening today and that uh, speaker Babin has done no wrong clearly does not understand the jurisdiction of the high court under article 991a it is clearly the exclusive domain of the high court to determine parliamentary membership and to declare parliamentary seat vacant and no other body has that power except the high court of the republic you see, so you're, uh, so you're saying Professor Michael Kwe aired. He he completely aired. And the and, and the MPP and the caucus in the house at the time went along with him. He aired. Now I'm once, asking a question. No, once once it affected the right of Honorable Esiama, he had a right in law to have invoked the uh, the jurisdiction of the High Court to challenge the decision of the uh, the right Honorable Speaker Aaron Michael Kwe, but he gave out his right. And decided to contest and win his seat back which clearly the people of formina rewarded him back with that seat and he's a member of this parliament uh, Fakwa, the the position or the ruling of michael quay was it not what the mpp had intended when they decided to invoke their own constitution you see when no matter what on 13th october mr john Boyd, the then general secretary of the new patriotic party wrote to parliament informing parliament of that position that uh honorable siama has been dismissed as a member of the new patriotic party for declaring to go independent that is that's a notorious fact in that standing orders of party the standards of parliament what was the intention was, what was the intention of the framers of the party's constitution i'm coming i'll get there of of I'm saying coming. automatically once you make that announcement and take the step you are no more a member of the party and as a result of that you, you are free to go and stand as independent or otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll answer that question let me let me let me let me put our viewers to note it that in the in the year 2000 standing orders of parliament which was repealed in 2023 under the same order 18 gave the speaker of parliament powers to declare parliamentary seat vacant so speaker okay and that provision was inconsistent with a provision of the constitution at article 99 one day which, which, which grants the jurisdiction in terms of no, the don't, don't take me to 2000. 2000. I, I asked ask a specific no, question. I'm coming to I'm, no, I'm coming to your and question. I'm, and I'm, I'm addressing your question, so give me the opportunity to address your question. It's a fantastic question. Honorable Siama is an independent member of parliament, yes or no? Yes, no, I'm saying, uh, I, and the question relates to the new patriotic party. Yes. I'm saying mm -hmm. that in your constitution, mm -hmm. is there in tandem and if you listen to all the audios and the interviews that as the chief scribe of the mpp at the time there were quotations of the same article 97 and i'm saying that the rationale the intention at the time and still was to get the member of parliament out of parliament because he didn't represent the mpp is that not the case you see don't don't you see me i'm asking you a no, specific I'm, question. I'm, I'm asking your question you see when the same constitution also tells you that if you go independent and you want to rejoin the party you apply to the party and the party then accept your nomination and once you rejoin the party you have two years to say before you can contest for any position within the party so since since when they don't have a join the party to be contested on the feet of the new patriotic party so it tells you that clearly that is the domain of the new patriotic party and our 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 our, our party and our regulations and our roots have ways to cater for these things. It's an internal affair. And so far, it is not inconsistent with the parent constitution, the Supreme, uh, the constitution of the... Why then, was, why then was the MPP That's quoting it. Article 97 then to back the argument based on the decisions that they had taken? Their own constitution mm -hmm. had been invoked. When once they did that invocation, they also backed it with the national constitution in tandem. And I'm asking you, what was... That what, was the understanding of the MPP then. But now, mm -hmm. that was the understanding. And nobody contested the position of the new patriotic party. Did anybody contest the position of the new patriotic party? Who is contesting your position now? No, no. Did anybody? Is it not the same MPP? No, I'm asking. Did anybody contest the position of the new patriotic party then? They don't know who was here, who was affected by that decision. Contest. Who is contesting the position now? Now we have all realized that you are Article who? 99. I am one of the. I, I am one of them. Isn't you are not part, No, I, I am one of them. So if you are not part of of, of the people that has realized that. In terms of declaration of parliamentary seats okay. vacant, it is only the it is only I, the High Court that we, has jurisdiction we all to declare that. parliamentary seats okay, vacant. Please end for me. So certainly, once the High Court has not declared any seat vacant, the Speaker has no mandate to, um, as it were, to notify or to inform Parliament as to the vacancy of seats. 
because one no one has died that it is notorious for all of us to know that the person has passed on and as a result of he or she passing on the seat is vacant no one has formally resigned like honorable why you then belonging to the ndc caucus resigned as a member of the ndc my uh, the, the, the ndc caucus to join the new patriotic party where like the speaker triggered article 971 uh, g to, and inform proceeded to inform um, oh, you are saying that the speaker doesn't have the right. He doesn't. He okay. didn't have the right. Uh, and certainly, uh, uh, once uh, you don't have that right, uh, and you are giving uh, yourself that right. Uh, 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 you've been monitoring proceedings. Uh, 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 impact that we are. Okay. We are all. The, the last week we were here.